Hello, in front of me I have Garmin Epix Gen 2 and I'm gonna show you how to pair this watch with your Android phone. You can pair this watch with your phone in two ways. First method is to pair it during the setup process of your watch and the second method is to uh, pair it through settings after the watch uh, has been already set up. Um, first I'm gonna show you the first method the, during the setup process and then I'm gonna show you how to do it through settings. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is to turn on our watch. You can do it by pressing and holding the light button. Once you see the Apex logo, you can uh, release the button and wait until the watch turns on. Okay, so as you can see, the watch turned on, and if it's a brand new watch or it's been reset to the factory default settings, you will see the screen. Now, you can tap on the screen or press the start slash stop button to continue. And now you should see the list of languages. Basically here you can select the list of, uh, or rather you can select the language you like to use on your watch, my bad. You can scroll through this list by using this touch screen or physical buttons right here, up and down button. Now find the language you like to use and select it. You can select it by tapping on the on the language or pressing the start slash stop button. I'm gonna select English. And as you can see now, we're being asked if you want to pair our watch with our phone. We want to do it, so we're gonna tap on yes, or rather select yes. And now we need to download and install the Garmin Connect application on our phone. So let's open the Google Play Store on our phone. Tap on search. Type in Carmen Connect and then tap search button. You should see this app right here, Garmin Connect developed by Carmen. Tap on install button. Once the application is done installing, you can tap on open button to open it. Now we need to log in into Garmin account. You can also create a new account if you need to by tapping on create account button. I already have an account, so I'm gonna tap on sign in, check the boxes right here and then tap next. And now uh, we need to log in. So I'm gonna tap on email, enter my email address, then tap on password and enter the password. So give me a couple of seconds. And once you're done entering the password, tap on next, continue. Right here we're being asked to allow the permission, uh, location permission for the Garmin Connect application. You can do it by tapping on manage permissions and then allow it or deny it. I'm just gonna allow it, but you can deny it if you want. Also, you need to turn on Bluetooth. So as you can see, we got the info that we need to turn it on. So let's turn it on and tap on turn on Bluetooth button. And as you can see, the app detected our watch. Let's tap on connect it. Then tap on OK. Now we need to enter the code from our watch. And then tap OK. Now let's tap on next. Here we can set up a sleep time basically. At the time, we can set the time when we go to sleep and when we wake up. This is useful basically if you want to use a sleep do not disturb mode. So and you do not disturb mode with, will automatically turn on when you go to bed and turn off when you wake up. And if you can set up, uh, set up the time by tapping on one like this and then changing the values by swiping up and down like that. And once you're done, tap on next, then tap yes. 
and here we can allow the notification access basically if you want to no receive the notifications from your phone on your watch you can allow the notification access to do it if you don't want to do it tap on skip i'm gonna allow it so i'm gonna tap on allow notification access then allow here we can allow the calendar access so if you want to uh, get the information about the appointments and stuff like that uh, you can allow the notification or the calendar access if you don't want to use it tap on skip i'm just gonna allow it and tap on allow here we have call call log access so basically if you want to get the notifications about calls and call uh, history you can allow this permission if you don't want to tap on skip next we have phone call access this is the basically used to uh, display the notifications about the phone calls again you can allow if you want to use this feature feature rather if you don't tap on skip now messages you can allow it or deny it and once you've done tap on sync now then tap on finish oh bad now we have a tutorial how to use our watch you can go through it by tapping on next or you can tap on skip to skip and just tap on next 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 and once you see the finish button tap on it and here we can set up more uh, features like music garmin pay and wi-fi connect iq you can do it by tapping on get started it will redirect you to this page where you can basically uh, follow the steps to um, configure your stuff you can also just sw sw swipe left on them to ignore them and just uh, close this pop up so it doesn't bother you anymore like this and again you can also set up the weather data on your device select basically weather location if you want to do it tap on major, uh, manage weather location if you don't want, don't want to do it tap on no things and then tap on got it and now you should see the main page of the garmin connect app and on it you should see the icon of the garmin epics gen 2 right here you can tap on the icon to open the device page for your watch and here you can basically uh, configure your watch if you want to okay so at this point our watch is paired with our phone so that's how you pair your watch uh, during the setup uh, process now i'm gonna unpair the watch from our phone tap on remove device to unpair the device go to the bluetooth settings um, remove the epics from here forget the device like that and I'm, now i'm gonna show you how to pair it if the watch has been already uh, set up so basically to pair the watch after it's already been set up you need to uh, press and hold the up slash menu button to open the menu now you need to scroll down through the menu scroll down until you find the option called connectivity tap on it tap on phone scroll down tap on periphone and now we need to open or rather download the garmin connect app install it and after you install it you need to open the garmin connect app um, and basically uh, if it's not first time you, you open the garmin connect you will see the screen but if you open it first time like we did before you will need to log in and then the app should detect your watch automatically but if you open it um, for the second time and you don't have any device on tap on this plus button right here and as you can see the app detected our watch tap on connect it tap on ok and then follow these steps like we did before uh, basically it's the same after this point so we just follow the same steps as we did, uh, did uh, before like that and just continue by uh, pairing the device okay so let's wait uh, tap on uh, yes
Then next, again we can set up the sleep time. Sync now. It won't ask us for the permissions anymore because uh, I opened it up. Uh, I mean, I allowed them earlier during the first setup, but if you didn't, it's gonna ask you again for the permissions. And now we can tap on finish. Skip the tutorial, finish. And here we have it. You can tap on the icon and see our uh, device page. And that's how you pair this watch with your Android phone. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel and leaving a like on the video.